most valuable lessons aren't taught, they are experienced. Thus, the Amazing Race Unit 10 is designed for you, for me, and for us to be experienced together. As welcome and a very good morning, I bid to all of you. I am Noor Asmira uh, as a representative of Group 6. And so, as it shown, and uh, since the end of the 2019, we are suffered with the limited interaction uh, where our norm life totally changed uh, due to COVID-19 spread all over the world. However, now our norm is slowly back to normal with the tight COVID SOP implementation. And so, as we will have a physical class for the next semester, so uh, this event, which is uh, the main concept of our event, is the uh, outdoor explorers activities. So, uh, I think this is a good start for us to back to the normal. However, realizing that we are still not completely uh, yet free of COVID-19, uh, so our team try as much as possible to design a game uh, with a minimalized and uh, uh, direct contact. Uh, but not only that, we will also uh, follow the SOP of COVID-19 uh, during the event. Okay, so this is uh, about our event with the title of the Amazing Race Unit 10. Okay, as I mentioned before, it is uh, the Explorers uh, event, which it takes uh, three hours, uh, three hours uh, with the date at 12th February 2022. So the participants will divide into eight groups with six people per group, with the total participant uh, will be uh, 48. Uh, participants. So, uh, about our event, uh, it will be uh, four different games for each sta station and one game for the final station. Uh, with each uh, station, we have two groups competing with each other, uh, while the winner will get the clue for the next station and one big clue for the final station, uh, while the losing group uh, will uh, only get a clue for the next station. So, um, and um, after completing all these uh, four stations, all group will be gathered at the last station for the final game. Okay, so um, coincide with the concept of this event, which is uh, explorers. So our main objective is by giving a chance uh, to the students uh, to practice uh, their leadership uh, skills uh, in real life. Uh, so uh, it move forward with the impact of this event, which is it, of course, uh, mainly we uh, enhance the leadership skill for the participants, practice the communication skill in real life situation, and last but not least, it also can build a bond between unit and students. Okay, for the target audience, okay, our event generally um, for, um, open to all the unit and students, but uh, the participation from the YTN student is most welcoming. Okay, so for the promotion and marketing plan, uh, we decided to design Thanks. our main event poster and net uh, also blast um, through the social media uh, like email, uh, Instagram. Okay, uh, for the next, for the budget, uh, our estimate budget is around uh, 1,200, uh, included the pro for the game, food and beverage, uh, also for the uh, sanitizer for the SOP and the prizes uh, for the prizes. Okay, so next, uh, for the sponsorship, uh, for the food, we will try to get uh, some sponsorship uh, from the food companies up. like Milo, uh, 100 plus or Gardenia for the prizes uh, from USDI and YCO. Okay, so uh, that's all from me. Uh, thank you. And this is our team members. Thank you. <laughs> 